Hello, in this video I'm drawing another goldfish. This time I decided to draw one in a top-down view. Again I'm using a text-to-speech narration technique, because my husband is still working at home, and I have to keep quiet. I've also got the window open, because it is really hot today, so the noise from outside is pretty loud during the school run. The fan on my computer gets pretty loud as well. I hope it can cope with the heat. We are having a mini heat wave in Britain at the moment, it was super hot over the weekend. I don't deal very well with the heat, but the garden is looking fantastic, and it is nice seeing people are starting to get out a bit more. I'm using a program called Krita with as a free open source digital painting software. You can download Krita from the official website which is at krita.org for free. You can also get it on the Microsoft Store, if you want to help fund the development team. Alternatively if you like supporting open source software, Krita is running a development fund campaign on their website this year, so that they can support five full-time Krita developers. With that said I hope you enjoy the video. I'm working on several line drawings for a t-shirt design I want to make. I thought doing them as simple line drawings would give me some versatility as I could also use them for other techniques down the line such as for applique and embroidery. My mum is always asking me to do line drawings, so she can make appliques. I might make some 3D sculptures based on the drawings at a later date for my Sketchfab store as well. I used to keep fish years and years ago. My mum made me get rid of them, though because I had a snail infestation in one of the tanks. The snails kept breeding and climbing out and dying everywhere. It was pretty horrible. Fish are one of my favorite animals. I love watching them swim about, they seem so peaceful and happy. To draw out the symmetrical tail fin I used a multi-brush tool, because that lets me rotate the horizontal mirror plane to the angle I needed whereas the basic horizontal mirror tool does not. Another thing I did later on with drawing the lines for the tail fin was to rotate the canvas, so that I could draw at a better angle to get smooth lines easier. Drawing the lines can be frustrating sometimes, but it is good practice for drawing, and it gets easier the more you do it. It can help relax the mind doing these sort of exercises, and is good for patience and discipline, at least in terms of art anyway. Getting all the scales, to look right and fitting the lines on the tail, is like a little puzzle game, so I don't mind it, but having some calm ambient music on in the background helps during the more frustrating moments. And now for some light poetry. I found a public domain poem about a fish. Kevin is going to read it for us. The Fish by Gilbert Keith Chesterton dark the sea was, but I saw him, one great head with goggle eyes, like a diabolic cherub, 
Flying in those fallen skies. I have heard the horse deniers. I have known the wordy wars. I have seen a man, by shouting, see to orphan all the stars. I have seen a fool half-fashioned. Borrow from the heavens a tongue. So to curse them more at leisure. And I trod him not as dung. For I saw that finny goblin. Hidden in the abyss untrod. And I knew there can be laughter. On the secret face of God. Blow the trumpets, crown the sages. Bring the age by reason fed. He that sitteth in the heavens. He shall laugh the prophet said. Well that was interesting to say the least. I'll have to find some more free poems for next time. I do like a poem now and then, although I have no idea what that one was about. Poems are strange things. When the line drawing was finished I opened another program called Inkscape to trace the bitmap into vectors. Inkscape is another free open source program for making and editing vector-based designs and illustrations. For this project I want the lines to be smoother for the t-shirt design, making them into the vector format will let me use them in larger sizes if I need to without losing details and sharpness. Thank you for watching this video, please thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more.
you can press the bell so that you will get notifications when I publish another video. Also if you have the time you can check out my art blog at theartsquirrel.com where I publish articles about digital art and creativity. I want to make it a useful resource for like-minded people, that is people who are interested in digital art and self-learning. Have a lovely day.